we have an active shooter. Stand by for further information. Tragedies such as the 2007 mass shooting on the campus of Virginia Tech, the 2009 shooting at the Fort Hood, Texas military post, and the 2011 attempted assassination of Representative Gabrielle Giffords at a public appearance in Arizona are all examples of active shooter situations. An active shooter is an individual actively engaged in killing or attempting to kill people inside an occupied structure or outside in a populated area. In most cases, there is no pattern or method to their selection of victims. Active shooter situations are unpredictable and evolve quickly. It is important to be prepared for such an event. Make it a practice to identify potential escape routes and have a plan in mind, even if you are just visiting a facility. In the event of a shooting at your location, you must quickly determine the most reasonable way to protect your own life. You will need to determine if the best course of action is to evacuate or to hide. Call 911 when it is safe to do so. If there is an accessible escape route, attempt to evacuate. Be sure to leave your belongings behind. Help others escape if possible, but do not attempt to move wounded people. Evacuate regardless of whether others agree to follow. Warn individuals not to enter an area where the active shooter may be and follow the instructions of any police officers. If evacuation is not the best option, find a place to hide where the shooter is less likely to find you. And be sure your hiding place does not trap or restrict you or your options for movement. Consider the difference between cover and concealment. Cover will protect you from gunfire and concealment will hide you from the view of the shooter. Quickly choose the best option. If you are caught out in the open and cannot conceal yourself or take cover, you might consider trying to overpower the shooter with whatever means are available. To protect your hiding place, lock the door if you can. Block the door with heavy furniture and close, cover, and move away from windows. Hide behind large items such as cabinets or desks. Remain quiet. Silence your cell phone and or pager. Even the vibration setting can give away a hiding position. When you call 911, remember to tell the operator the location of the active shooter. If there are multiple shooters, physical description of and number of weapons held by the shooter, as well as the number of potential victims at the location. When law enforcement arrives on the scene, their primary goal is to eliminate the threat and stop the shooter as soon as possible. First responders will not be able to stop to help injured persons until the environment is safe. Knowing what to expect will help keep you calm and allow law enforcement to quickly neutralize the threat. Officers may arrive in teams with tactical equipment such as vests, helmets, and rifles. They will need to take command of the situation. Expect to experience officers shouting orders and even pushing people to the ground for their safety. It is possible that officers from multiple jurisdictions will arrive on the scene. When law enforcement officials arrive, it is important that you keep your hands visible at all times. Avoid making any sudden movements. Avoid pointing, screaming, and or yelling. Put down any items. Immediately raise your hands and spread your fingers. Remain calm and follow instructions. Do not stop to ask officers for help when evacuating. Just proceed in the direction from which officers are entering the location. For more awareness resources, please visit dhs.gov slash critical infrastructure.